A few weeks ago, I tested several portable diesel heaters side by side. Since then, three more manufacturers sent in their heaters, so I ran them through the exact same test using the same scoring system and then added them to the leaderboard. I'm not retesting the original heaters in this video. Those scores are already locked in on the leaderboard. In the last video, I only showed which heater won each category. This time I'm showing the actual scores. Not because the test changed, but because seeing the numbers makes the trade-offs easier to understand. One point difference may not be a big deal. Three or four points difference could be. The three new heaters in this test are the Audiquip All-in-One, the H Calorie TB2S Toolbox Heater, and the LF Bros N2-T Plateau. Each one is scored from one to 10 across the same 10 categories as in my previous video. Accessories, ease of setup, portability, build quality, safety, runtime, noise, output per watt, working altitude, and price. When it comes to safety, every heater in this test includes basic protections like overheat protection and electrical safeguards. For this comparison, I weighed carbon monoxide monitoring and exhaust pipe protection more heavily because those are the most relevant risks for portable and enclosed use scenarios. Let's start with the Audiquip Pro all-in-one diesel heater. The accessories are basic, a remote, a 110 volt power adapter, and a battery cord, which puts it toward the lower end of the group. Setup requires attaching the ducting, pipes, and muffler with hose clamps. The plastic duct insert helps, but it still takes longer to set up than heaters that use threaded pipes. From a portability standpoint, this is where the Equip Pro really shines. At just over 17 pounds, it's the lightest heater tested, and the large handle makes it very easy to move around. For build quality, internally the manufacturer specifies a 301 stainless steel combustor paired with a sandblasted aluminum heater body, which are positives for durability and heat transfer. However, the plastic exterior housing ultimately caps the build quality score when compared to metal cased heaters. From a safety standpoint, it does not include an exhaust pipe heat sock or a carbon monoxide monitor, which limits the safety score. Maximum runtime came in at about 25 hours on low, which is solid but trails the longest running heaters. Noise is where this heater really stands out. Measured between 50 and 55 decibels, it's one of the quietest heaters tested. Output per watt measured 427, placing it in the middle of the group. Working altitude is rated to about 16,400 feet with automatic altitude compensation. Finally, at about $330, the price is near the top of the group, though not the highest. When everything is added up, the Audiquip Pro finishes with a final score of 67. Next is the H Calorie TB2S Toolbox Style Diesel Heater. The accessories are better than average, including an air filter and an extension cord for the removable digital screen. Setup requires attaching the ducting pipes, and muffler with hose clamps. From a portability standpoint, at around 25 pounds, it's average for a toolbox style heater. For build quality, internally, the heater uses a reinforced aluminum heater body and combustion chamber designed for fast and efficient heat transfer. However, it does not use stainless steel components and the outer shell is plastic, which limits the overall build quality score. From a safety standpoint, it does not include an exhaust pipe heat sock or a carbon monoxide monitor. Where the H calorie really separates itself is runtime. With a large fuel tank and efficient fuel use, it delivers about 53 hours on low, the longest in the test. Noise measured between 60 and 65 decibels, placing it in the middle of the group. Output per watt measured 607, the highest of the group. Working altitude is rated to about 18,000 feet, also the highest in this comparison. Finally, at around $190, the price is very competitive. When everything is added together, the H calorie finishes with a final score of 74. 
The third new heater is the LF Bros N2-T Plateau. The accessories are better than average as it includes an extension cord for the removable digital screen. Setup is quicker and easier with this unit because the exhaust pipe is threaded, so no hose clamp is needed there, though hose clamps are still used for the ducting. From a portability standpoint, it does very well weighing in at just 19.2 pounds, which is impressive for a metal cased heater. Where the LF Bro stands out is build quality. It uses a metal outer shell and internally features a 301 stainless steel combustor paired with a sandblasted aluminum heater body. From a safety standpoint, it does not include an exhaust pipe heat sock or a carbon monoxide detector. Maximum runtime came in at about 27 hours on low, putting it in the middle of the group. Noise performance is excellent, matching the Audiquip Pro at 50 to 55 decibels. Output per watt measured 427, which also places it in the mid range. Working altitude is rated to about 17,000 feet, earning a strong score. However, at roughly $390, it is the most expensive heater tested, which significantly impacts its price score. When everything is totaled, the LF Bros finishes with a final score of 71. Now, once you add the new heaters to the original results, this is where everything lands. If you're prioritizing overall build quality, the LF Bros and Bouge RV stand out with their metal construction. If your priority is runtime and efficiency, the H calorie clearly separates itself in this test. If quiet operation and portability matter most, the Audi Quip Pro is hard to ignore. And if you're looking for a budget friendly option, the Vivor is still very hard to beat for the price. Now, none of these heaters are best at everything, which is exactly why the scores look the way they do. The key takeaway from this test is that portable diesel heaters are not all built for the same purpose. Some heaters are optimized for long runtime, some are built for high altitude performance, and some prioritize quiet operation or portability, while others focus on value. Once you put them side by side, it becomes clear that the right heater depends less on the brand and more on how and where you plan to use it. Now I've linked the original comparison below. If there's another heater you want added to this leaderboard, let me know. And if this kind of side-by-side -side testing is helpful, consider liking the video and subscribing. It really helps the channel. Bye for now.